Hello everyone, welcome back to Life Station and Base Construction in Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. As people have commented, and one bad panda commented during the live stream of this when I was actually trying to land it, well, and then splashing down and crawling onto the surface, uh, probably I should increase the string spring right, uh, string spring strength right now, uh, because well, we could use a little bit more height. I don't know if that's working at all though. Um, and maybe reduce the damper strength. I don't know. But I was hoping that that would raise that up a little bit. But so far, it's not raising it up a little bit. <laughs> Maybe we have to be rolling at the same time. But that was one thing to try and uh, get the cargo clear of the bay. And... So yeah, our problem is trying to get this out. Well, not out, but clear. And we're sort of dug in here is the main problem. It worked on Kerbin, but it's not working so well right now. Unfortunately, this can't really help. Bill is in a daze, having sat here for ages. Wait a minute, how does Bill have no electric charge? The RTGs have decayed? Gosh darn it. I was relying on you, RTGs. This rover is useless now. I should have put solar panels on. Well, still, anyway. RTGs, you can't trust them as much anymore. This is actually free and has a docking port on the tail. But this could create chaos. I mean, uh, let's say... Oop, let's not go to that yet. Um, let's say we brought its tail over here. Oh, well, that moved this quite a lot. Let's see. But, let's say we put the tail over here and docked it. Right? Things would explode, right? Oh, just right there. When it hops up, I could probably get it out. <laughs> Hold on. There's, there's drastic measures here. No, go, 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 go! I mean, if it's caught by the thing. I mean, it could just be non-cooperative. Come on, come on! See, it's not going so close yet so far. More spring strength? I don't know if we want more spring strength or less spring strength on these. Okay, well, let's try and retract and extend the landing gear again. Go, go, up. Come on, come on. Why, why don't these want to turn? I still don't understand why it's yellow. Well, now that, that one is turning. I'm trying to do something to get it free. If I could just run right over it. <laughs> We're slowly going over it, but I might be crushing it and blowing things up. Hop, space plane, hop up. Don't try it, don't try it. Not too fast either, otherwise you blow things up. Well, let's see. Move? I don't understand. I mean, come on. We can't quick save and quick load for some reason. I just F5 and F9. No, oh, right there that hobbed. Oh, come on. Ah, oh, okay. Go backwards. I got stuck again. It was moving a little bit though. Okay, why why don't we try and produce the spring strength so it is down? Here it sinks in the ground and looks more clear of the thing. 
If we could shove something here to lift it up like a jack, maybe. Interestingly enough, right now the brakes don't read part yellow. So I guess that's good, but it doesn't seem to be helping any. Yeah, it used to be either yellow or green there, but now it's just not. Okay, um, this one doesn't have any power. This does. It's not moving though. Maybe we're just at that time of day when you can't move them? Uh-oh. Um... The other thing disappeared. It's not here anymore. Gosh darn it. Uh, I can move it forward here, and then it gets stuck. Right when the antenna hits. It's the antenna, I swear. Yeah, this thing, it seems to be turning wheels, but it's not moving either. Uh, I just clicked that and then we switched vessels and this broke apart. I didn't click this. Uh, but I guess it must have clicked through. Right. But once it gets to this point, it can't back up again, right? If it was the antenna, you know, you'd expect it to be able to back up to where it was before, but... It doesn't seem to be able to do that. Gotta try and back up here. Okay, well that works. We are backing up instead of going forward. But we do get stuck there. Once we get stuck there, it doesn't want to move forward either. If I could turn this so that the nose is on the side... No, I mean, it's rough. Come on, get up, get over it, get over it, get over it. Yeah. Yeah. Sort of. Okay. More. More crushing. More of this. Okay, well, there you go. That's how you do it. <laughs> Say what? Let's just get this out of the way and get back into orbit. If we can. Oh! Oh, uh, I should have saved. Gosh darn it. One more time. Hopefully we can still go on top of it like that. And I'll have to save. And then we'll check which way around. Because we want to meet up with the refueler. Oh, uh, sheer chaos, really. Uh, somebody had said that uh, not to throttle up and sort of throttle up slowly in order to rev it up. It doesn't move at all and so you don't get any extra air like that. Even to get some velocity you have to throttle up all the way so I mean it'll just like stop completely if we try and go slower and then you're not getting any extra air for the engine. Okay, we're clear of it I think but we seem to be stuck still. Yeah, we, we slow down pretty soon if we're not at 100%. Uh, maybe we should reduce the spring strength now. Really, the spring strength did nothing, as far as I can tell. We don't want to be bouncing around, though. Friction level. 
Can we have less friction? They're not doing particularly well. They might do better at a different time. <laughs> or if we reload it or something. But probably the most reliable thing to do would be to boost the thing with the engine. When I go to map view, sometimes it wigs out. Oh yeah, look, it, it just decided to do something crazy. Randomly. I think I'll have to use the rocket engine. So I think it's going on its way up to Apoapsis, so yeah, it's going prograde. Yeah, it, it, it just randomly starts to do things. But I think we're going to have to light this one. Oh, we lost the nose gear! And the rest of the landing gear. Why? Why? Why would we lose the nose gear and the rest of the landing gear? May I'll increase the spring strength. No, oh, no, the jets aren't doing enough. No, we lose the nose gear again. Uh, should we like try and get into the water? Will we be able to take off from the water? Oh no, we're losing those. Those just come off. I didn't even notice that before. We have bigger fish to fry. We want to test this theory out. I mean, we had been able to go... Oh, now we're losing the main landing gear. Okay, uh, it's all gone. Let me just go auto suspension. Fine, you do what's best. We we lose a random tank when we start this one. Let me start from here, where everything was intact. Because we didn't get a clean save. We, I'm, I've been using a quick save, and it didn't seem to save the clean save. Now we lost the nose gear and everything. Okay. Let me drop the landing gear for a sec here. They haven't lost any of the rear tanks at least. No, oh, it all blows up. Can we move this? This still can't move. I mean, it's like it's stuck. It, it just can't move. I should have put jet engines on it so that when we extend these, we could at least move it. We can sort of turn because the rear ones are sort of contacting the ground, kind of. It's also only powered by RTGs, so we know it'll eventually go dead, but we just want to connect it up to that one, really. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Maybe it was still sort of connected to our space plane. Okay, let's say we want to. I don't know if we want to go tail tail with these. 
or whether I want to try to dock on that docking port. I don't know if we can fit there or not. Oh, too quick, too quick. Oh, okay. Oh, oh, okay, okay, we got it. Just the... Uh, the lax docking ports of KSP2 here, but yes, they fit Okay, back to space plane. Oh, we lost one tank. Ah, uh, it's probably gonna mean that it's completely buggy, buggy and everything. Okay, well, maybe it'll perform better now it doesn't have the rover near it. See, now they're all they're all at ten kilonewtons and breathing. And then, at 62, it starts being like this. These said that they got 100% at zero velocity, by the way. I think they don't, but they said they did. Obviously, I would expect that they're not great at zero velocity, but... I'm just going by what the dialogue in the VAB said. But, yeah, so... We can't overcome friction like that, so... Now maybe we'd be better off just using the top jets... ...initially? Oh wait, we're sort of moving. I'm trying to get to the water, since the landing gear has not been great. Yeah, let's try a Cranoplane style. It doesn't seem enough. We are imperceptibly moving. If I try this, we sort of know that it's gonna go. Now, there was a nice trim to use to avoid busting the nose gear. But I don't know exactly where that is. I think we couldn't go past like 12 meters per second. on ground. Sometimes. Sometimes we couldn't go more than 12 meters per second on ground. Ford knows here. Other times it was fine. Oh, but it was gone even sooner. And... great. No, the nose gear just dies. Let me try skidding on the ground like this. No, it doesn't work out very well. Okay, well, we're skidding using main landing gear. Oh, more things blew up. More things blew up! Oh, even at 8, it blew up the main landing gear. This was tested, capable of taking off from Kerbin. Oh, we lost the nose gear. Going with six meters per second right now. We're using a lot of our fuel for orbit. Oh, got a little bit impatient there. I was trying to keep it to six, not eight. Oh, we lost something. 
I don't. Oh, I don't know what it was. Oh no, we lost it. Main landing gear, right at the end there. Oh no, we were so close. Please just get us into the water. Make us a water plane, please. Okay, I think we're we're a water plane now. And the ground friction doesn't hurt here, so the jets are working nicely. The ground friction is crazy on the landing gear. Here we're accelerating, but is it gonna be enough? We are a very broken plane and our Kerbal doesn't have a parachute. I don't know if it'll help, but I'll try afterburning mode. It really doesn't help. <laughs> I'm not feeling the extra thrust here from it. Forget it. There's only one form of afterburning this thing understands, and that's... Igniting the swerve. Oh no, there's a little bit of land there. I mean, or shallows, I guess. I don't want to scrape off the swerve. Hopefully this is not too shallow. Ooh, pretty shallow. It's not doing great for our ability to fly here. I think the friction of the water is preventing us from getting anywhere here. Uh, 70. Okay, okay, we're up. Okay, we don't need to swerve anymore, but do we have enough delta V for orbit? That's a whole other business. I think we're going to, once again, go back to not trying to land and using parachutes. Maybe I need a VTOL. Just a VTOL that will drop it off and then go up without using a runway. I mean, obviously that would be a good idea, right? But it's more dry mass. But it's better than using the rocket engine. And for something that drops base modules off and then leaves, we can't just use parachutes. Well, we bye bye to the base. We fly better now that we don't have the base in, and also we have a lot less fuel here. Also, we're missing a fuel canister in the back. Sure, that's not throwing anything off at all. We're missing the nose gear. We're missing one landing gear. This is not gonna land particularly safely on Kerbin. Wonder what science there is. Oh, there's something. Crew observations. I'm sure Jedred has many observations to make. I don't suppose there's any chance we'll get anything useful out of afterburning up here.
Well, in brief stints, it seems to want to go faster, but I think it's blocked by the body somehow, even though it looks like a tighter plume. A little bit better. Yeah, well now it's accelerating, yeah. But not much. Come on. It really needs, because of the body I suppose, it really needs to be pointed prograde exactly. Body obstructs the thrust more than expected. There's a lot of imbalance in this thing. Unfortunately we lost the landing gear and the tank on the same side. Yeah, I don't know if it's worth the extra fuel consumption, but alright, let's try and activate the swerve. Alright, well, we're accelerating, we're past the speed of sound and everything. Fuel consumption doesn't look too bad. Well, don't pitch down, that's for sure. Balance is rough. I have to re-trim. We had trimmed up quite a lot. Okay, that's it for the jets. No, seriously, you can stop. Hopefully they're all actually deactivated. Uh, it looks like we have got 3,000, which would be enough. If it's reading right. Oh, balance is crazy, though. Uh-oh, uh something's overheating. Oh, and roll is happening. Okay, let me coast for a bit. Whoa, I didn't want to do anything there. SAS doesn't really SAS much, even though we theoretically have a reaction wheel. Well, th this has the control core plus reaction wheel. I think we have a reaction wheel. No, we didn't add a reaction wheel in the back. Well, we don't have that much reaction wheel, but we have plenty. What just happened? What just happened? It blew up from the heat. But we're in space already! No! <laughs> um. Okay, well, there's an autosave from when we lit the rocket engine. And apparently, when we had some of these, well, they say activate, but they mean deactivate. I don't know. That one still seems activated. Alright, apparently it auto-saved right there. We'll try and go higher and not go so fast. I mean, not that there should be a problem. It, it survived re-entry. Why is it getting overheated? I don't know. But... You know, can't argue with the game, really. Okay, well, now we've got an apoapsis outside the atmosphere, we're not overheating, and we'll wait. Okay, well, now it says 1,307, not that 3,000, so we don't have as much as I would have liked, but I think we should still be able to make orbit. Doesn't have a whole lot of control. SAS doesn't seem to be able to pitch down properly. Um, here. Oh, I don't know why I changed camera there. SAS is not doing anything quite right there, so. We're in space. We should not overheat, okay? No explodey. 
So on Kerbin, I guess we should try to splash down. I mean, we, we're missing two landing gear. I don't think it's gonna be happy with that. And honestly, it works better as a seaplane anyway. Uh, I don't know, I might be lying about our Delta V still. Let's, let's see if we can make it. Okay, okay, we've made orbit. We've got a toggle SAS, I don't know what it thinks it's doing. Um, yeah, we have a little bit of fuel left. But we'll we'll just have the refueler rendezvous with us and top us off, and then we should be able to get home hopefully. Though it's got to be a struggle because um, we're imbalanced and the thrust of this does not like that. But let me just save, and I think we've had enough chaos for one episode, so we'll have to see about the return of this next time. Uh, yeah, things could have been done potentially better, but here we are. So with that, I'll say thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I'll see you next time.